this is a little backwards of the other problems we were looking at. So here I was given the z-score and I found the area or probability. This one gives me the area or probability and says, hey, can you go find the z-score? And it turns out StatKey is perfectly designed to do that. So this is reversing the idea. Um, this 92 right here is also considered a percentile. So another way I could ask this question is, what z-score is the 92nd percentile? So what oops, percentile? What's the probability we randomly find another z-score that's smaller than whatever that one is right there? It'd be 92% of z-scores are smaller than that. So we're just going to reverse this idea in stat key, which isn't too bad. Spreadsheet, different formula. So stat key here, it's going to reset. Now they're asking about z-scores. Mean of z-scores is zero. Standard deviation is one. So I'm good there with the default. And here they're showing me a left tail. They want 92% in the left tail. So I just go over to left tail. Percents, probabilities, areas, those are up here. So here I would type in my 0 0.92. It's got to be a decimal between 0 and 1. Right? They remind me of that. Hit OK. And then StatKey says the z-score you want is 1.405. And does that seem reasonable? I think so. So remember, within two standard deviations is 95% plus the tail would be 97.5% at two. So a z-score of two would be like the 97th, 98th percentile. A z-score of 1.45 is the 92nd percentile. So we want z is about 1.405. Get those numbers right. Yep. Okay. And then, oops. Uh, here, I could reverse it just to double check to see if it works out. I could come back here and over type that 1.405 and then say okay, and it will recalculate the area and say, yeah, it's about 92% to the left of that. So anytime you replace a number top or bottom, it recalculates what the other number ought to be. Now, the norm dist in a spreadsheet that computes these areas, these probabilities. And I want to reverse that. So if I go over to a spreadsheet, so this is uh, like probability. I'm going to change this tab to probabilities. I'm a new one. For probability. So in this case, I'm given the probability. Uh, which and it would be the left tail. Right tails are just reverses of these. So probability, and I was given, a, he's got to do it as a decimal, that's important, not a percent. And I want to calculate the corresponding z-score. So if I start typing norm for normal stuff, it's got a bunch of options, and I want to do the reverse, the inverse of a normal distribution. Which, which means instead of given a z-score, find the probability, it says given the probability, find the z-score. And again, stat key is the easier way, but this gives us more decimals when we need them. And the correct one to use here is norm.inverse. And it says, what's your x? In this case, x is a probability. They're not very clear about that. So the documentation kind of sucks here. We have to know that. So my probability is given above in this cell right here, comma, and then it says, what's the mean and standard deviation for this situation? These are z-scores, so the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, and I don't need the true here, it just says, give me those three things, and it should pop out the right z-score. These probabilities right here have to be left tail. Have to be, have to be, have to be. So if you're given a right tail, you gotta reverse it to get the left tail, which is a one minus. So again, spreadsheet's a little trickier, but it gives us more accuracy, stack is a little easier, and it gives us a picture, pros and cons. Uh, and again, the spreadsheet agrees with stack key, and they always will agree the spreadsheet just has more decimals. Oops. So back here, uh, easy way to do this is stack key.
if we happen to need more accuracy, then we can do a spreadsheet. And from a probability, the way the spreadsheet works to calculate, in this case, a z-score from the probability is the norm dot inverse. And then we give the norm dot inverse the left tail probability. Documentation doesn't tell us that, but that's the deal. And then we give it zero and one because we're doing a z-score. That's the mean and standard deviation. STD for a z-score. And again, you have to have the left tail to make that happen. 